<coughs> Beware the boogers. The crawler has taken five months. I've got projects stacking up and now I've got to bang them out quickly. Uh, this one is something that I designed a while back and then when I just got ready to build it this morning, I realized I already have one half built because I bought some at an auction. Look at this, right here. I've got a basis to start with and this is gonna speed things up immensely. I'm building an entry table for the plasma cutter that will slide underneath. It's a long story, you'll see. Let's get this one going because I've got two more projects coming that I gotta get done soon, very soon. And one of them's big. Good news, bad news. Good news is it's together. Bad news is it's two and a half inches too tall because I forgot to subtract all the crap that's gonna go on top of here. I got the drawing up and I didn't even think to check. So now I get to cut these off, lower them down two and a half, and weld them back on. No big deal. So I need a clip going this way and I need a little short clip I had those drawn up previously, and when I started looking at it, I realized they are almost exactly the same size as the chain link plates that I just replaced on the crawler. So I'm gonna rip them down. I get my long clip, I get my short clip. The holes are the right size, everything's the right size. So I just need to do two sets of those, and I don't have to run the torch a whole bunch. Just one straight shot. are not too bad okay then you know where we're supposed to be here you know how close this is oh, cool
Got our rollers. That sucker broke right off. Look at that. That is sweet. All the rods for these are gonna be 3 8 except for the long two. I made our rod ends with a half inch. That's down. I want this to be roughly parallel. Since nothing's going to go in the middle of this. Take down all the threads. Let's see if you can see that down there. 
Oh yeah. That is beautiful. Perfection. As I suspected, I really don't need those rollers on there. It is kind of nice once you get the plate there where it needs to go. It's easy to locate it, but I'm having to push the plate and the table at the same time. Pushing the table with my hands and I got the plate against my biceps and I'm just pushing it forward and it kind of sucks. I don't know that it would be much better if it was just a solid surface it was sitting on. Friction would definitely be better, but there's going to be some drag when it's trying to go across that table because the all the ribs I've been cutting, all the uh, slats, they have little barbs and crap on them. That's to be expected. I don't want to go any higher because I don't want the plate to have a sag in it or anything. This is a pretty flimsy plate too. Once I go with quarter inch, it ought to stiffen up a little bit. And I'm going to put an extension on the end and an extension on this side to help hold it up. All in all, that's pretty cool. And I guess there's the setup. I've got, they don't really lock. I need to do some work on that. But they're not bad. And I got these two, they're still under the table, of course. And when I store it, I'll have them all, no plate on it, I'll just have them all up, which is all the things laying down. Now it's totally up under, under there and out of the way. 
sweet.